Hello friends, this video on thermal properties of matter part 17 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Please make sure that you have watched all the videos from part 1 to part 16 before going ahead with part 17. Now let us discuss yet another concept of latent heat. So what is latent heat? Once I tell you about latent heat, you must might find it confusing with specific heat capacity. But before I start, please make sure that in specific heat capacity, there is no change of state involved. But in case of latent heat, there is a change of state involved. So latent heat is the quantity of heat absorbed or released by a substance undergoing a change of state. When a substance is undergoing a change of state from solid to liquid or liquid to vapor or solid to vapor, then the amount of heat that is absorbed or released by the substance is known as latent heat. It is also known as heat of transformation. Latent heat is also called heat of transformation. Why so? Because it is associated with transformation of state from one state to another. That is why it is called heat of transformation. It is denoted by capital L. Let us suppose that we have a substance of mass M which undergoes a change of state. Let us suppose I have a substance of mass M undergoing a change of state. Now let us suppose that the quantity of heat required is capital Q. So this quantity of heat required will be equal to the product of mass of the substance and the latent heat. So latent heat is nothing but amount of heat required per unit mass. So this is latent heat. So we can say that latent heat is characteristic of the substance because it varies from substance to substance for one particular material. The value of latent heat may be something but for some other material it should be something else. So it depends on the nature of the substance. SI unit is joule per kg which is very clear from this expression. Q that is heat is joule mass is kg. So the unit for latent heat is joule per kg. Now even in case of latent heat we have different categories. For example, the first one is latent heat of fusion. As you know, what is fusion? Fusion is change of state from solid to liquid. So latent heat for a solid liquid state change is called latent heat of fusion. It is denoted by L with a subscript F which stands for fusion. Similarly, we have latent heat of vaporization that is for the liquid vapor change. So latent heat for a liquid gas state change is latent heat of vaporization. It is denoted by L with a subscript V. Now, thank you. Please visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thank you once again.